All of crypto is crashing. People are selling off their entire positions or at least thinking about selling their positions because they're worried that they're going to lose all of their money, that these are going to go to zero or keep dropping. But in reality, many people are going to look back on this very moment and regret ever selling or thinking about selling their positions because what history has shown us is that we always see these corrections in the crypto world. A 50% correction is not unheard of and it's actually very common to happen multiple times throughout the years. In addition to this, Elon Musk came out and tweeted diamond hands. People are wondering, is he talking about Bitcoin? Is he talking about Dogecoin? What is he talking about? Or is it just in all of crypto in general? Right now, buy the dip and crypto crash are trending number one and two on Twitter. And in addition to all this, there's a specific reason why the crypto market is crashing. But what many people don't realize is that it's really an overreaction because right now, one of the main reasons why we're seeing all cryptos drop is because of China. They reiterated crypto bans that were already put into place in 2013 and 2017. So in reality, they changed absolutely nothing. They just reiterated these bans that were already in place since 2013. So in today's video, we're first going to go over what is going on in the crypto world. Why is it crashing and why I think this is really an overreaction because these bans that are causing the crypto market to crash from China have already been in place since 2013. After that, we're going to go over what is going on on Twitter. Elon Musk is coming out and tweeting Diamond Hand. Is he talking about Dogecoin? Is he talking about Bitcoin? Is he talking about crypto in general? And finally, at the end of the video, we're going to talk about a couple of other things going on on Twitter with regards to the crypto world. But anyways, if you guys are new here, the whole point why I created this channel was YouTube had deleted my other channel with over 300,000 subscribers. So the point and mission of this channel is to show that the underdog can succeed. And no matter what happens, we can't be stopped. So if you want to be part of that mission, you think the underdog has a chance, you want to be part of the Dogecoin community, well then make sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my channel. We talk about everything, not just Dogecoin. We talk about crypto, stock market, tech news, and especially Dogecoin. But anyways, right now we're seeing the entire crypto market crash and it's mainly because of China. They came out just the other day on Tuesday and reiterated a crypto ban that was already put into place in 2013 and 2017. What many people aren't talking about and what people seem to be overlooking, at least in my opinion, is that these bans and have already been in place since 2013. They were put in place 2013, 2017, and reiterated just yesterday. So in reality, everyone is freaking out, but nothing has changed. Zero has changed because these have already been in place for years and years and nothing is changing. The report simply said that virtual currencies prices have soared and plummeted recently, resulting in a rebound of speculative trading activities of virtual currency. It has seriously damaged the safety of the people's investments and and damage the normal economic and financial orders. That is why they reiterated the bans, but in reality, nothing is changing. They're just reiterating bans that were already in place. So that is something that everyone needs to keep in mind because people are worried. What does this mean? What does this do moving forward? It changes really nothing. In China, under the ban, what it says is such institutions like banks, online payment channels may not offer clients any service involving cryptocurrency such as registration, trading, clearing, and settlement. That is what what it says, but people who are invested in crypto can still hold their cryptocurrencies. People could still hold Bitcoin, hold Ethereum. They could still hold any cryptos they want. They just can't, just banks and online payment channels can't offer any services that involve crypto. So really why this is happening is that China is trying to push forward their own digital currency, which is the Chinese digital yuan, the digital RMB. They've been working on this project for years now, and they've just started to recently roll out um, tests where they're giving some of the major corporations in China, such as JD.com, Starbucks, other, other businesses in China, they're giving them this e-currency, this digital yuan, letting them use it for part of their business. JD.com is already paying some employees with it, and they're testing it out. So really what they're doing with this um, reiteration of the ban is they're basically saying, look, we're making our own digital currency. We want to use this in the future. We don't want anything else getting in the way. And with the way the Chinese government works, they can do that. And that is exactly what they're doing. They just want to make sure that their Chinese digital yuan will have a place and be the major um, digital currency in the future. And they're basically laying the foundation, laying the groundwork to make sure nothing can get in the way of that. In addition to this, Elon Musk came out and tweeted just earlier that Tesla 
has diamond hands. A lot of people were wondering, what is he talking about? Is this Bitcoin? Is this Dogecoin? What is he talking about? And then he replied to his tweet just a couple hours later saying, credit to our master of coin. Many people you could see below are tweeting um, memes of the Dogecoin dog. They're saying hashtag Doge. Many people are saying this is Dogecoin. And in reality, by him saying credit to our master of coin, in my opinion, I think he's definitely talking about Dogecoin. So does this mean Tesla owns Dogecoin? Potentially. There's been a lot of rumors circulating that Tesla sold off some of their Bitcoin to now look at other cryptos and actually buy Dogecoin. Elon Musk has come out on Twitter multiple times and said that they were looking for cryptos that were a little more energy efficient, better than Bitcoin, and Dogecoin is definitely one of those options. In addition, there's another clue pointing towards the fact that he could have been talking about diamond hands with Dogecoin is that Elon Musk tweeted on May 13th that he's working with the Dogecoin developers to improve system transaction efficiency. So between all of this, between rumors that have come out that Tesla has potentially bought Dogecoin, between Elon Musk saying that he's working with the Dogecoin developers and with this recent tweet that says diamond hands, Tesla has diamond hands, well, it's a pretty clear indication or at least a pretty, pretty good clue that Tesla has bought Dogecoin and that with the Dogecoin that they hold, they're not selling. Or you can also look at this, we have to play devil's advocate. The other way is that we know that Tesla still owns Bitcoin, so that just means that maybe they're not selling any of their crypto. We're seeing the entire crypto market crash, so probably um, while they probably do own some Dogecoin now, all these clues are pointing in that direction. It, this tweet could just mean that they're holding all of their crypto. They're not selling any of it, whether that's Bitcoin or Dogecoin. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And finally, we are seeing crypto taking over. We're seeing buy the dip and crypto crash trending on Twitter. We're seeing that right now a lot of people are freaking out. They are worried about the crypto market and about all of these cryptocurrencies they're invested in. We're seeing major corrections across the board, no matter what coin you're looking at. So that is why we're seeing crypto crash trending. And if you look under the reasoning, the description, it says a lot of this has to do with the Chinese um, bans that were put in place on the crypto world. So I just want to point this out. We're getting a lot of traction, a lot of people talking about crypto, and this is a big deal. You know, people are worried that this is going to be a long-term thing. Are we entering a bear market? Potentially in the short term, but long term, I think anyone who's selling now, if you look back on it two, three years in the future, they are going to regret this big time, especially with, let's say, um, some of the decentralized finance cryptos out there like Cardano, Ethereum. Those, in my opinion, have the most upside moving forward. I think we're definitely going to see Ethereum overtake Bitcoin in terms of market cap. I think it's something you're going to want to keep an eye out for moving Moving forward because right now we're seeing everything have a bit of a correction, you know, a pretty big correction. But I think once we come out of this and we start seeing prices recover, I think we're going to see Ethereum shoot up very quickly and really start to approach Bitcoin in terms of market cap. I think same with Cardano. We're going to see it go from right now around a $50 billion market cap to very easily, I think, about a $100, $150 billion market cap. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But that's what's going on in the crypto world. If you guys like these videos, I love this channel. This is probably my favorite channel out of all all my channels I have. So if you like these videos, make sure to like it down below. Leave a comment telling me what you want me to talk about next. And I hope you guys have a great day. Um, let's wait and see what happens with the crypto market. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.